In the world we live in, we often encounter enemies and haters who try to bring us down and hinder our progress. But the question is, do we let fear consume us and succumb to their negativity? As part of the Lord Health Ministry, it is essential for you to listen attentively to these words of encouragement and empowerment. Before we proceed further, let's take a moment to define what it truly means to have faith in God. Faith, as beautifully stated in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things unseen. It goes beyond mere belief. It is a deep trust and confidence in God and His faithfulness. It is about having a personal relationship with Him and trusting that He will fulfill your needs and never fail to keep His promises. So even if there are people who hate us, envy us and consider us as their enemies, we must have unwavering faith in the Lord. We must firmly believe that He is our protector and defender. Have faith that He will shield you from their evil schemes and keep you safe under His loving care. Let go of any fear or anxiety that may arise from the presence of enemies and replace it with the confidence that comes from knowing that God is on your side. Also, faith is not just a passive state, it is an active response. It requires us to take action and seek God's guidance and intervention. So as you encounter challenges and face opposition, continue to pray and seek the Lord's deliverance. Pray with conviction, asking the Lord to deliver you from your enemies and those who harbor ill will towards you. Trust that the Lord listens to every word spoken in prayer and is attentive to your needs and concerns. And in this moment of prayer, let us lift up every person who is watching this video right now. Lord, you know them intimately, even by their name. You are fully aware of the struggles they are facing, the burdens they carry, and the challenges that seem insurmountable. We pray, Lord, that whatever they are going through, your mighty hand will uphold them. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, comforting them, in their distress and guiding them through the storm. In Jesus' lovely name, Amen.